Amazing Grace is another person's password Toy Story. Yay! <laughs> Amazing Grace is another person's password Toy Story. Yay! Yay! Amazing Grace is another person's password Toy Story. Yay! Yay! Hello, what's up guys? My name is Percy and I'm the Guinness World Record holder for the largest collection of fast food toys. Yay! Okay, so I'm here once again to tell you another amazing and stupendous and awe-inspiring Percy's fast food toy story. And boy, have I got a toy for you. Our toy for today is none other than a la peanut butter and jelly sandwich. <laughs> what is it? Dun, 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 dun. Oh, this is a big one. Okay, so this is our old pal, Donald Duck. Look at him. It's a uh, surprise that he's not really pissed off. Look at his face. He's a little bit more calm. <laughs> Which is very unusual because most of the time his, old, his uh, face is always contorted. He is always pissed off. He's stressed. <laughs> what with all the mischief uh, by, the, by his nephews, uh, Huey, Louie, and Dewey. <laughs> Okay, so apparently uh, look, uh, Donald Duck is actually playing uh, baseball. Look at that, the baseball glove. Isn't that neat? It sort of feels like a real leather or something. <laughs> yeah. And the rest of the body is actually plush. It's a very, a little bit furry. Yeah, so you can touch this, especially the, the tail of Donald Duck. Look at that fuzzy white tail. <laughs> you don't mind Donald, right? Okay. <laughs> So this is um, sort of made of leather and the face is actually thinner so yeah of course it has to be thinner so that uh, you can get uh, the features of Donald Duck. It's harder to actually replicate the face of Donald Duck if it's uh, the material is plush and uh, of course it will be harder to maintain when everything else is plush. Okay he also has this uh, baseball cap. Look at that D. <laughs> It's colored pink uh, against the blue background. <laughs> I don't know why it's pink. Anyway, it works perfectly well with Donald Duck. Okay, and look at his uh, beak. Yeah, like I said, uh, it has to be vinyl so that you get the nuances and uh, more or less get the, a perfect uh, replication <laughs> of this amazing and uh, seemingly amicable face of Donald Duck, at least in this particular tour. He's also wearing this stripes, uh, out, uh, stripes uniform, baseball uniform, and he is number three. Okay, I don't know what their team is called, but anyway, uh, Donald Duck seems to be very stern and very, I don't know, he's actually very stoic in this particular toy. It's very friendly, but it doesn't have much expression, so I don't really know what's going on. He probably, he's probably nervous. <laughs> Okay, now there is a tag here, okay, and it says here, uh, since 1988, McDonald's has raised more than, oh wow, 17 billion Hong Kong dollars to benefit local children in Hong Kong, Shenzhen, and Macau. Wow. So the purchase of this toy from McDonald's uh, actually benefits uh, the Ronald McDonald Children's Charities. Look at the hand. There is the hand of Ronald McDonald together with a child. Wow, that is a very novel uh, thing that McDonald's has done to be able to help, uh, especially those children in need in Hong Kong, Shenzhen, and Macau. Wow. So, not only do you get a lot of amazing, wonderful treats from McDonald's by eating uh, their burgers and their uh, yeah, great juices and some of their other food items, and you get to keep, you get to buy also some of their wonderful, amazing fast food toys, just like this one, this Donald Duck. <laughs> I was about to say Ronald Duck. <laughs> yeah, Donald Duck. They sort of rhymed. Okay, so this is uh, pretty awesome. It somehow um, elevated this toy to a higher level. Uh, now that we know that the proceeds of uh, yeah the purchase of this toy actually went to a house, um, Ronald McDonald's House of Charities. Oh my goodness, that is pretty awesome. <laughs> I better look for a jar that would fit this particular uh, uh, toy of Donald Duck. And I intend to actually keep this tag because uh, 
it's nice uh, when you see um, all these uh, very popular uh, characters like Donald Duck and Ronald McDonald uh, joining hands to, uh, to actually be of help, especially for our um, yeah brethren, especially children who are in need of our help. Okay, <laughs> that's great. Oh my God, I wish you, uh, there would be more people, uh, not only fictional characters, not only you know, cartoon characters, but also real life people who would uh, actually go out of their way to actually extend their help. Uh, especially right now, uh, we are uh, in this uh, yeah uh, COVID-19 pandemic. And uh, personally, I've seen a lot of them likes of actresses who really are going out of their way to actually uh, get some funds so that they may be able to feed especially those families who are quarantined and uh, are left without any uh, funds to actually buy for their daily necessities and that is a horrible situation to be in you're quarantined you have no work especially if you have this arrangement of no work no pay how else are you going to get the money to actually feed you for your for your day-to-day -day needs okay uh, so th that is why um i'm so so happy that i witnessed uh, for myself all of these people who have been blessed uh, a lot and uh, they shared their blessings like uh, Regine Velasquez, Angel Oxine, Sharon Conenta, Lea Salonga <laughs> who, yeah, who's the father uh, talents from GMA7, from channel to ABS um, and all those other uh, celebrities who are um, not only very beautiful and not only very talented uh, but also have a very kind heart, uh, a heart um, that is not selfish, but uh, always uh, looks for you know, someone who is in need of their help. Yeah, who are willing to, uh, like I said, go out of their way uh, to sacrifice a bit so that uh, these uh, less fortunate brothers and sisters uh, here in the Philippines who were quarantined may be able to actually go through this whole quarantine and I hope it will end <laughs> the soonest. Okay, let's pray all together that uh, uh, we'll get a semblance of normalcy eventually, that this vaccine, this long-awaited vaccine for the COVID-19 will uh, eventually uh, yeah, be there, an effective, an efficacious uh, vaccine or a cure. Uh, to whoever who have been uh, afflicted by this uh, disease may actually be cured. Okay, <laughs> now since, uh, on a lighter note, since this is now a uh, part of our uh, Persis Fast Food Toy Collection, I am going to definitely sign this with a pleasure. <laughs> oh my goodness, this is a wonderful toy. So I'm going to sign. Oops, sorry. <laughs> and I've got to say, this is just an amazing grace. So once again, guys, <laughs> let's try to uh, thank God for every amazing grace that comes to our lives within the form of this plushy toy of Donald Duck from Ronald McDonald Restaurants. <laughs> given in 1988 for the Ronald McDonald ch Children's Charities, House of Charities. Yeah, this is a very noble toy as um, the proceeds of the purchase of this toy so went to the Ronald McDonald Children's Charity. <laughs> what an awesome toy and a great addition to my Percy's Fast Food Toy Collection. Or basically guys, let's be thankful for every amazing grace, be they small or big, be they seemingly insignificant or the truly eventful. <laughs> or just about every amazing grace that make our lives a lot more happy and jolly. And I thank you guys for always tuning in to Percy's Fast Food Toy Story. And I especially would like to thank those new subscribers. Uh, please uh, tell your friends, uh, spread the word around. Uh, yeah, tell your brothers and sisters, your BFFs, your best friends, your classmates to also subscribe because we still have a lot more Percy's Fast Food Toy Stories up my sleeves. Okay, so until the next one, bye bye for now. I hope to see you again with our next Percy's Fast Food Toy Story. So until then, here's Tom Talk.